In the brutal winters of World War II, when temperatures plunged below minus 40, when metal froze to skin and breath turned to crystals in the air, soldiers faced a silent enemy more dangerous than bullets, their rifles. Because in that frozen world, even the best weapons in history stopped working. Bolts jammed, machine guns locked up, lubricants turned to wax. Entire battles were lost, not from strategy or firepower, but from the cold itself. On the Eastern Front, where winter could kill faster than any weapon, soldiers quickly learned that precision engineering meant nothing if your rifle refused to fire. The German army marched into Russia in 1941 with some of the most advanced firearms in the world. Mauser rifles, MG-34s, Luger pistols, all masterpieces of design. But as temperatures dropped below freezing, those same weapons began to fail. Oil thickened, springs refused to move, and as the sun set over the white frozen plains, men discovered that a jammed gun could mean death. Meanwhile, Soviet soldiers, poorly equipped, often underfed, somehow kept firing. Their rifles cycled smoothly in temperatures where German guns froze solid. It wasn't luck. It wasn't propaganda. It was chemistry. A secret blend of oils, engineered deep within Soviet laboratories and workshops, designed not for comfort, but for survival. That formula became one of the most quietly effective military secrets of the entire war. Before the war, most gun lubricants were designed for moderate climates. England, Italy, North Africa. They worked perfectly well when the weather was warm. But once the mercury dropped below zero, everything changed. Standard oils are made of long hydrocarbon chains, the same molecules that make up motor oil. At freezing temperatures, these chains start to crystallize, thickening the oil into something more like wax than liquid. Once that happens, the weapon's moving parts, the firing pin, bolt, and springs, can't overcome the resistance. The gun doesn't fire. And on a battlefield where every second counts, that could be the end. In 1941, Soviet engineers developed a special winter oil, a formula that stayed fluid even below minus 40 degrees Celsius. It wasn't made from a single oil, but from a blend of three components, refined mineral oil for base lubrication, animal fat derivatives, natural waxes that stayed flexible in the cold, and alcohol-based esters, chemicals that lowered the freezing point and helped the oil spread evenly. Together, they created a thin, light amber-colored liquid that clung tightly to metal surfaces but never solidified. Soviet rifles coated with this oil could still fire after being buried in snow for hours. And when German officers captured Soviet weapons to examine them, they were stunned. The secret wasn't in the steel. It was in the oil. By late 1942, word of this mysterious oil had reached German scientists. The Wehrmacht began its own experiments, mixing different oils to find something similar. But wartime shortages made it difficult. Synthetic lubricants were scarce, and whale oil became one of the few available substitutes. The Germans eventually created a cold weather lubricant using sperm oil from whaling combined with castor oil and ethanol based solvents. It was far from perfect, but it worked. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, the United States Army developed its own blend under specification VVL 800 a low-temperature oil made of mineral oil and synthetic esters. For the first time, armies realized, victory in freezing temperatures wasn't about bigger guns. It was about better chemistry. On the front lines, soldiers quickly learned the rituals of winter maintenance. Every weapon had to be stripped clean, every trace of standard oil removed, before applying the special blend. A single drop of the wrong oil could freeze the mechanism solid. Soviet soldiers would warm their oil over small alcohol stoves, then brush on only the thinnest layer across the bolt and firing pin. 
Too much oil attracted dust and ice crystals. Too little, and metal-on-metal -metal friction could seize the weapon. So they learned to leave the parts almost dry. Just a molecular film was enough to keep the gun alive. Reports from the Eastern Front tell of Soviet snipers cleaning their rifles with gloves off, in temperatures that froze flesh in seconds. Their Mosin Nagants kept firing where German automatics failed. Finnish troops, masters of cold warfare, developed their own version using cod liver oil mixed with kerosene. That same mixture allowed Finnish marksmen to fight through the Winter War at temperatures as low as minus 45. It was messy, smelly, and completely improvised. But it worked. So what made this oil so special? The answer lies in molecular behavior. When temperature drops, molecular motion slows, and liquids become solid. But animal fats and castor oil contain naturally occurring molecules called esters, compounds that resist crystallization. These esters act as built-in antifreeze agents, keeping the mixture slippery even when the temperature falls far below zero. Alcohol additives like ethanol or isopropyl helped thin the mixture further, lowering the freezing point even more. The result was an oil that stayed light, flexible, and clingy, a perfect balance for metal parts exposed to brutal cold. By 1943, every major army had developed its own winter lubricant. The Germans refined their whale oil blend, the Soviets standardized their formula for mass production, and the Americans introduced early synthetic oils that could survive both Arctic cold and desert heat. This was the birth of modern multigrade lubricants, the same science that kept W. Duby Weiss Siege rifles firing would later lead to the oils used in today's vehicles, aircraft, and machinery. It was an invisible war, fought not with tanks or planes, but with test tubes and chemistry flasks. Even today, the principles behind that 1940s formula still matter. If you're maintaining tools, firearms, or mechanical equipment in extreme cold, the same rule applies. Use the thinnest, cleanest lubricant possible, and apply only what's necessary. For survivalists or reenactors wanting to recreate the historical formula safely, here's a modern equivalent. Mix one part light mineral oil with one part castor oil, and add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol or a winterized fuel additive. Shake well and store it in a sealed metal container. This simple blend remains fluid far below zero and works for knives, hinges, and even small engines in winter conditions. It's a piece of wartime ingenuity that still serves a practical use. Eight decades later, the secret World War II oil blend wasn't just a clever invention. It was a symbol of human adaptability under extreme pressure. It reminds us that technology isn't born from comfort. It's forged in survival. When every resource was scarce and every mistake could cost a life, soldiers and scientists found a way. A way to turn animal fat, alcohol, and industrial oil into something that saved countless lives. That's not just chemistry. That's resourcefulness at its finest. History often remembers the tanks, the planes, the generals. But behind every great war machine were thousands of small, overlooked details, like a drop of oil, clear and golden, that kept a frozen bolt moving when everything else stopped. That detail, invisible to most, changed the course of battles on the coldest front. It's proof that survival often depends not on strength, but on understanding the materials around you. That's the true power of innovation. Not invention for glory, but adaptation for survival. The secret oil blend of World War II may have begun as a wartime necessity, but its lesson endures today. Whether you're a historian studying forgotten engineering or a survivalist maintaining gear in the cold, remember, simplicity, adaptability, and knowledge can often achieve what high technology cannot. Because sometimes, Survival comes down to the smallest things, a spark, 
a coat of oil, or the ingenuity to keep life moving when the world itself is frozen still. If this story of hidden wartime innovation inspired you, subscribe to our channel and uncover more forgotten technologies that change the world in silence. Thanks for watching.